Hi, my name is Richard Walters and in this demonstration we're going to look at custom field calculations. This will cover areas like the if function, the and function. These are commonly functions used in Excel but they can also be used in Microsoft Project and they can be very handy in custom fields and that's why custom field calculations can be a useful skill. In this demonstration, we're going to look at custom field calculations within Microsoft Project. This can be a powerful area of Microsoft Project, using indicators for color coding, as well as quite uh, complex formulas if, if required. So here we're going to look at using what's called a nested if. Now, ifs are useful generally in Microsoft Excel. This is where the if function is generally used, but it can be used in Microsoft Project. Now we're going to look at this situation to see how the ifs can be used to control cost. So we're first going to look at the cost table just to see what we're trying to do. So we've got different costs here for different tasks. Now what we're trying to say is if any cost is less than 2000, so there's a couple here that's less than 2000 down to here then this is going to be a green indicator to say that that's, 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 that's acceptable. If anything is 2,000 up to 4,000, so 2,000 to just below 4,000, so this number here and this number here, we're going to say that that's an orange. We need to look at that cost. Anything that's 4,000 or more, we're going to say that is a red color, so these numbers here. So we'll have green like a green, amber, red, like a traffic light. So it'll be a green, amber, red color controlling our costs. So let's change the table now back to entry and we'll just stay in the entry table from now on. It's on the project tab, custom fields. In this case, we want to control costs. So the type is going to be cost. We're going to rename it. And we'll call it uh, cost control. And now we're going to do a formula. And yes, we want to overwrite the original field. So formula. Now we're going to use a, a nested if. So three ifs to do three tests. So in the first, use the function if. So the general if. And when I'm doing this in Microsoft Project, I tend to take away everything in the brackets and just start writing it bit by bit. So we want to use the field. And the field is cost. And we're saying if the cost is less than, so our pointing to the left, I see it's less than 2,000. Then we're going to say comma. Then we put a number one against it. So that's going to be a number one indicator. Another comma. So move on to the next if. Now, when you get used to how the if is written, you can actually type it yourself. So this time I'm just going to type double I F. And I'll take away the last bracket just for convert, just to make it easy to write for now. So I'm going to write double I F, and every if comes with an open bracket. And I do the same again, cost again. And this time is less than 4,000, but greater than 2,000. Then I want that to be another comma, then. That comma means then. I want to tag it with a number two. My final test, so another comma goes in now to do another if. So, and this is how you can write it in Excel as well, pretty similar. So open bracket and do another cost. And this I'm going to say is greater than or equal to 4,000. We're then going to put a comma, it means then we want to show what number. We'll tag it with a number three. So these one, two, threes will, will allow us to show green, orange, and red. And then we want to close three brackets now because we've opened up a bracket for each if. The first if has got a bracket, the second if has got a bracket, and the third if has got a bracket. So you need to close three brackets. Click OK. And this is going to overwrite the field, that's fine. Now we're going to use graphical indicators against this. I'm going to say if it equals to the number one we just put into the if function, we'll say that's going to be a green because that's less than 2,000. 
And there's all kinds of symbols you can use. So we'll use a green. Then we'll say equals to. We'll have the orange color. If it equals three, we'll say that's a red. OK now. And let's test it. Click OK. And we'll keep in the entry table. We will just insert some fields. So I'm going to insert column. And I'm going to insert the cost control. So that's a cost field. There it is. So there's the green, orange, and red show against the cost. And if I wanted to see the costs against it to see how this is working, I could again insert another column, a field. And this time I'm going to insert the cost itself, which is here. And now I can see every green is less than 2,000. Then it goes to the yellow color. That, that's, that is 2,000, so that's white yellow. And then the next yellow is over 2,000, and the same one again. Then the reds come in for anything that's 4,000 or more. And there they are. But this is the way you can use calculations in um, like a project, which is similar to Excel calculations. And you can use color control as has been demonstrated here with cost field. But this completes the example in this case of cost control using the nested if to look at green, amber, and red control. This now completes the demonstration on custom field calculations. See you in the next video.